Hola, good morning, Jarmillions. I'm Joe Warlock, and on today's episode, will the Osbots ever defeat the Decepticons? Will Ryu ever put M. Bison out of our misery? Will The Walking Dead ever end? And can House Stark finally take control of Westeros? And I'm pretty sure I just said cake, but I meant take. Cake would also be nice. Yes, it's July, it's Launchbox, and the theme is battle. Launchbox, Spanish company from Barcelona. Price, 29 euros per month. Monthly subscription box. Let's see what we have. Also, still can't find my knife, so still being a very dangerous adult. Let's cut it through. There's just there's so many things I have to cut through on this. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And another one. The first item out of the box. Everybody's yellow-headed Ryu clone, because he does exactly the same moves. Ken, which means fist in Japanese. There you go. Yes. Um, what can you say about Ken? He's exactly like Ryo, does exactly the same moves as Ryo, just doesn't have the same kind of backstory. Kind of forgotten about character, he always focuses on Ryu. Wouldn't make any difference if he chose Ken. But yeah, Mr. Also Harduken. Ken, I I like this. I don't know why I like this. I am a big Street Fighter fan anyway. But I like this. I like the hair, I like the design, I like the sort of anime eyes. This is weird. I, I don't know why I'm not mad on plushies, but I like that plushie. It is actually from Capcom. That's interesting. That's not bad actually, good way to start it, that's kind of made me smile. Next up we have, ooh this is a rather large box, but such a small box. Oh that's quite nice. Ooh, it's like a Justice League statue, and it is Shazam, or originally Captain Marvel, but for obvious reasons there was a bit of a copyright claim and he had to be called Shazam. Uh, he was like, wasn't he a kid or something? And he just went, Shazam! And then he turned into Captain Marvel, essentially. Uh, oh, sorry, Shazam. But that's not bad. We should probably uh, get him out of the box and have a little look at him. He is a little plastic statue of Shazam. Looking, his eyes are facing every. He's a little bit boss eyed, to be honest with you. It's a nice little figure. It is plastic. It's well painted. Nice detailing on the cape, on the face, apart from the eyes. Quite cool looking. Uh, Shazam! actually stands for something and oh it's gonna take a while s uh solomon wisdom or something hercules that's strength a atlas don't remember why <laughs> uh z was for the power of zeus the courage of achilles i think was the other a and m for martha no i can't remember mercury that was it the speed of mercury yep kind of cool very strange character, probably doesn't get enough love. Not a bad little statue. Um, Yeah, I quite like that, to be honest. There's a few more on the back, don't know who they are. Wing bloke and womany woman. Oh, it's Catwoman. Womanly woman. It's Catwoman and probably Hawkman. That's how adventurous they are with names. Next up. Ooh, it's a keychain. From Game of Thrones. It's a little keyring or keychain. Rubbery. I haven't got Game of Thrones ones recently. But yeah, the little wolfy head of House Stark. Sudden worry, then I got that wrong. I think it's House Stark. I've literally just been watching Game of Thrones on my week off from start to finish. And I'm currently on midway through season five in five days. That's what a life I've, I've wasted my life. Fantastic. But yeah, nice little key ring. Gonna have more things than it is. Transformers, robots in really bad movies. Ah, oh, it's cool. It's Megatron. The original Megatron. The Transformers more than meets the eye. Ooh, I like the t-shirt. And it is official Transformers. Just always good. And the very, very evil Megatron, who was always awesome in the comics. Then he became Galvatron. And, I don't know, wasn't mad on Galvatron. I just preferred Megatron. Never understood how he could shrink to the size of a normal gun and then turn into like a 50 foot high robot. That was never properly explained. Except for magic and some sort of crazy science. Anyway, Megatron turns into a gun, kills robots. Transformers! There we go. Not a bad t-shirt, as always. Bad antenna. Grabbing more things. What is this? Oh, it's a bag. It's... Oh, this is lovely. <laughs> I might have to use this. The Walking Dead bag covered in blood with handprints. That is delightful. I like that. I, I can never have enough bags. That'll do. I'll take that to work with my sandwiches in. And people will be a bit scared and worried about me. But hey, that's just normal. The Walking Dead, the program that never ends that I stopped watching ages ago because every season is pretty much just the same plot, but no one ever seems to realise that. Yep, that's alright. Nice little bag. Can't really complain about that. 
not bad at all. And finally, we have ooh, the little uh, casino chip from Launchbox. I do like these. I think these are really nice. Something slightly different about them. This one, Battle, and you can see a bunch of the Street Fighter characters on there. I miss Street Fighter when it was good, and not like Street Fighter V when it was rubbish. Shazam, the t-shirt, the Walking Dead bag. Oh, those House Lannister House Stark and House Targaryen key rings. Ooh. Lannister would have been cool. I'm not a fan of Lannister. I'm definitely a Stark person. And a bunch of the little plushies. Ken, Ryu, Zangief, E Honda, Chun Li, Del Sim, and what his name? Blanca. There we go, the electrical guy. That's not bad. Okay, Joe Minions, let's see what we got in that lunchbox. In this month's lunchbox, we had. Um, I, I like it. A very <clears throat> high headed plushie of Ken from Street Fighter. How to start keychain. I like that. That's not bad. The obligatory casino chip for battle. Not worth anything. Just a nice little thing. Shazam! Shazam statue of Shazam. Never used enough. Probably won't see him in Justice League, which is a shame. Could be an interesting character. The Walking Dead bag. That's not bad at all. I like that. That's useful. And a Transformers t shirt. So, one, two, three. Or five items and a chip. 29 euros. What's that? 25 pounds? Something like that? Uh, I don't know. I don't do math or calculations. Uh, don't know what these go for. Eight quid, I guess. T shirt, about a tenner. Bag, no idea. Plushie, maybe a fiver. I think the value's probably there. And they're not that bad items. I like the plushie. I like the statue. That's quite nice. The t shirt's awesome because I love Transformers. The bag is useful. And I like it when there's actually useful stuff in there or something interesting. And a key ring, which is fine for me, but throw away for other people. Still, 29 euros, not bad. I quite like that box, to be honest. That was that was a good one. I like it. But I want to know what you think. So, have you tried launch box? What do you think of the theme battle? What's good? What's bad? What could be better? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to grab yourself a launch box, I will leave links down below in the description. So thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button, because it really helps me out. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? Because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime, though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.